Fatima. I'm coming to you from Richmond, D.C., and I'm here to help you build your immune system. Hey, I am Fred. I am a chef, and I live in North Vancouver, B.C. Hi, everyone. My name is John, and I'm a dad to two great kids, and I'm in Vancouver. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying our little quick series that we've been doing on immune health. So today we're going to be talking about hydration. Hey, so guys, um, I went to Starbucks today and unfortunately they didn't have chai latte. How crazy is that? I could only get water. Like, I mean, I love water, but I could only get the water. How crazy is that? Seriously? That's crazy. I know, that's super crazy. Like, what are you guys drinking today? How much did you pay for your water? Well, I actually paid zero <laughs> because it's free. Uh, I love that yeah, though. I love yeah. that all Starbucks should move to water. Why is that? Because water is essential for life. Because we're made up of what? It, what is it? I'm I'm like fifty one percent water when I go on the scale, you know? And um, I love water. I actually don't understand how come people still drink Coca-Cola and Pops and high glycemic juice, like orange juice. Yes, it's got vitamin C, but what in the drink, yes, <laughs> I have a hell of a lot of vitamin C. Yeah, and if I would put a red pepper in there, I could triple my vitamin C intake. Ah. Because red pepper has three wow. times more vitamin C than orange, right? Uh, oh, I don't know. Water. I don't think, think. I don't, I've never tried it. But water is good. Water well, gets you know, annoying. talking about the talking about the juices, you got to be careful too, because people think that you're getting all the you know the nutrients from the fruit and the vegetables, but when you're concentrating right. it, you know, when you're let's say for example you're eating one orange, but then you drink. Two, say a really tall glass of juice that could have like six orange oranges in there and so yeah you're getting the the nutrients but you're also like what fred was saying you're getting the juice like and but in the juice you're not getting the fiber that's which right, is what right. makes it uh, better for you is the fiber in the fruit so if you're thirsty i say eat an orange right. yeah okay. but i mean or, all the juices you're getting all this refined sugars that they they have to put in to preserve it which I mean, you're better off just squeezing an orange and having it. But at the end of the day, water is the best thing because it detoxifies your entire system. It helps flush out all the viruses. It helps flush out any things that shouldn't be there. And of course, it helps with your That's bowel right. movement. But most importantly, it helps with your immune system because if it's That's flushing right. out all of these toxins, well, guess what? You're reducing it. And now at a time like this, I would say you need to be drinking at least three liters of water a day. On average, normally people, they drink about one to two. Now you right. want to be drinking at least two to three liters of water a day. Why? Well, one, you're hydrating yourself. Two, you're keeping your body lubricated. Where this virus right now is wanting to sort of attach to drier areas, drier surfaces. If you're if your respiratory is nice and lubricated, well, it's going to be harder for it to catch on. What What are your thoughts on it, John? Um, yeah, I, I started a habit a couple of years ago. It took a while. I mean, like any habit, it takes a while to kind of implement. But I wake up every morning and drink two glasses of warm water. I don't try to drink cold water. I try not to drink like super hot water. But I know Fred's got some fruits or slices of lemon in his water. But in the morning, I know people like to drink like uh, lemon water or just plain water or some other other infused water. But I've been creating a habit where I've been like I've got my kids to do this as well is especially in the morning because we we've, we've been sleeping for many hours, right? And we're losing a lot of um, uh, moisture through our breath, through sweating, whatever it is. And and when you wake up, you know you feel really dry, you feel very parched. You know I think we all do. And so. What I do is I just down about about half a liter of water right away, and uh, and it helps again. What Fatima is saying it helps with kind of just just getting that 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 moisture back in your body, and you feel so much better literally within minutes. That's right. 
I agree. And should we talk quickly about how many cups of water you should drink after your first cup of coffee for those who drink coffee? Yeah, we should since you brought it up. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Starbucks is only giving us water now. Bloody, I love Starbucks now. <laughs> yeah. Be because people so, start their day with, with coffee. I don't want to go on that subject for too long, but admittedly, we should start with just lemon water. But people start with coffee. Coffee is diary light, so it gets the water out. So every time you drink a cup of coffee, you should replenish it with about three cups of water. Okay. Now, people say, wow, that, I can't do this. There's too much water, right? I have to go to the bathroom so much now. Well, it's good. The more you go to the bathroom, the more you're detoxifying yourself. You, you're, that's right. That's right. And everybody's home now, so. There's plenty of bathrooms. They're clean. <laughs> there you go. Please don't use all the toilet paper. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but you know, they say that there are other ways to, you know, clean yourself if you need to. Like running into the shower. Hey, that's another way that you can use water to keep your immune system clean and healthy. Yeah, you'll be washing yourself. I mean, uh, another thing another thing I read yesterday was um, an advice that I saw on, on Facebook, I believe, but uh, they said that just be careful because as, as, as time goes on, I think at least in our area, what's happening outside is, is actually still climbing, right? It's not, it's not leveling off. And so they, they advise people when you come back from either, you know, uh, even for a simple walk or going to get groceries or getting gas especially is to uh, put all your clothes into the wash mm -hmm. um, and wash and then also if you've been exposed to people I mean like if you've met someone or someone did sneeze near you to actually jump in the shower because because like you were saying it um, giving yourself a, a shower after you go out is a good way to get rid of all the germs and, and stuff that could have that could have been near you so it's always a precaution especially if you're coming home and you're living with you know, elderly parents or someone that's got uh, got some health concerns already. It's a good way. I mean, it's easy to throw your clothes in the wash. That's great. Um, even like, you know, washing our hands. They say you're supposed to wash your hands for 20 seconds, you know. Now they're saying, now they're saying 30. Now they're 30. saying 30 seconds. So that means you're singing the birthday song three times in order to do that. So Is that I mean, what you do? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying. You gotta like, you gotta wash it 30 times. And you know, I've taught my kids my students a song or a little act so that they actually remember to how to wash their hands. Turn on the water, check to see if it's hot, <laughs> the cold. Wipe, 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 wipe. Soap, soap, soap. Scrub, 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 scrub. A little bit more water. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Wash it off. Wash it off. God, I, I'm not going to try that with my teenager. And then take some <laughs> towels. Don't even take, don't even use the air dryer or anything because there's bacteria on it. You want to actually take a paper towel or towel and then wipe it. And then they're saying even with the towels, your bath towels, your face towels, put them in the wash a lot more. So water mm. does so many miracle things, not just hydrate us, but it, well, water's uh, water's a solvent. Water's a solvent, right? So exactly. it's there to help uh, clean. But especially going back to like being outside is uh, especially wash your hands right now because like again we're we're, we're talking about drinking water to keep ourselves hydrated and keep ourselves healthy with our immune system. But uh, water is great to 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 clean, right? Because we use it to clean ourselves. But especially going to get gas. I mean, no one thinks about the gas uh, nozzle. Right, and even though we may be using hand sanitizer, they said a good thing to do is, you know, uh, hand sanitizer when you get in the car, and then when you get home, wash your hands thoroughly. Or even better is to use a tissue, uh, like a towel that they might have, or you have in your car or at the gas station. You use it to to grab the, the wrap it around your hand, use it to grab the, the gas nozzle, fill up your tank, uh, get in your car, disinfect your hands, and then and then you don't have to really touch the handle itself. There's a lot of germs on that, like because you never know who. You know, there's there's that many people touching the gas nozzles as you know the, the interact machines or whatever you call it. Fair enough. Well, we shouldn't have to fill our car up right now, even though the gas is super cheap, because we yeah. shouldn't be going out. We should be inside. I mean, we should just be going outside to get yes. our essentials, our groceries. That's it. That's right. Yeah. But with gas, and, and, and if, if we're taking. Uh, 
uh, what's it called, our drugs, our pharmaceuticals, for the elderly that do need that, you know, we can assist, or for people like us who need our multivitamins. Yeah. But that's yeah, and I mean, no, this is def this is definitely if you do need to go out, if you do need to fill up gas, just be cautious about that as well, because you know we're just trying to just limit what we're touching and what we're exposing ourselves to. So yeah, um, I've seen people filling up gas with the uh, with the uh, latex gloves on, you know, just so that they protect them themselves as well. Lots to think about. Well, anyways, thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this conversation, and remember to stay hydrated all the time drinking your three liters of water a day. beautiful and try uh, oranges and thyme fresh thyme in your water it tastes phenomenal excellent we'll see you next, for our next video bye okay, guys